हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ आशीष शाह असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन आर पी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मेसी एंड टूडे इज माई टॉपिक अबाउट अल्सरेटिव कोलाइटिस द अल्सरेटिव कोलाइटिस स्टार इन आवर कोलोन दैट इज ट्रांसफर कोलोन एसेंडिंग कोलोन दैट इज लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन अपेंडिक्स रेक्टम एंड डिसेंडिंग कोलोन दीज आर द पार्ट्स इन विच द अल्सरेटिव कोलाइटिस मे अकर and introduction is is an inflammatory bowel disease that causes inflammation and ulcers in the digestive tract it affects the innermost lining of large intestine and rectum it can be debilitating and sometimes lead to the life threatening complications it has no one cure known it has no known cure and treatment but can be reduced by signs and symptoms of the disease and bring about long term solution it is an inflammatory bowel disease which causes irritation inflammation and ulcers in the lining large intestine there is no cure and people usually have symptoms of and on for life but the right treatments can help to keep a handle on the disease and patient can live a long life after their control over ulcerative colitis these are the ulcerative colitis parts on which the ulcer can occur that is the colon rectum sigmoid colon ulcerative these are in the lower section you can see the ulcerative surface on the colon wall and there is a continuous inflammation right below rectum the risk factors for the ulcerative colitis are which affect the same number of women and men also the risk factor may include age the ulcerative disease usually begins before the age of 30 but it can occur at any age and some people may not develop the disease until after age 60 race or ethnicity although whites have the highest risk of disease it can occur in any race and also in the family history or genetically disease genetically disease is also a risk factor for the ulcerative colitis causes the exact cause of ulcerative colitis are not known whether diet and stress are the suspected and now doctor know that these symptoms may be related to the cause of ulcerative colitis what is the one possible cause is immune system malfunctions and heredity also seem to play a role in that ulcerative colitis is more common in people who have family members with the disease also colitis pathophysiology The pathophysiology of ulcerative colitis causes usually confined to rectum and sigmoid colon. Inflammation leads to mucosal hemorrhage and abscess formation, which leads to necrosis and sloughing of bowel mucosa. Mucosa becomes red, friable, and ulcerated, and bleeding is common. The chronic inflammation leads to atrophy, narrowing, and shortening of colon. types of ulcerative colitis are basically inflammation is confined to the area closer to the anus and rectal bleeding may be the sign of disease proctosigmoiditis is the inflammation of the rectum and sigmoid colon the lower end of the colon signs and symptoms include bloody diarrhea abdominal cramps and pain and inability to move the bowel in spite of urge to do so left sided colitis is the extended from the rectum through the sigmoid and descending colon signs and symptoms include bloody diarrhea abdominal cramping and pain on the left side and urgency to defecate pancreatitis it affects the entire colon and causes about bloody diarrhea that may be severe abdominal cramps and pain fatigue and significant weight loss you can see the types of ulcerative colitis that is first is proctitis which only the rectal area near rectal area is affected and the proctosigmoids you can see the upper hand of the rectal area is marked colon and the distal colitis is slightly large part on the sigmoid colon and the excited transitive colitis is approximately all area of large intestine expect the right side and the pancreatitis is 
the severe ulcerative colitis in which all area of large intestine spots affected so these are the causes types and pathophysiology of ulcerative colitis thank you